Now we have our basic editing completed. Uh, and by basic editing, I just mean uh, removing any mistakes that I've made. And then I've separated my recording into my three main pieces. My introduction, which is this piece up here. My main content, which is here. And just my ending, which is down here. So what I want to do now is bring in a little music to make this sound a little bit better. So maybe a little intro music here in the first, or here at the front, and then a little transitional music between the in these two breaks, and then maybe a little music at the end as kind of the conclusion to let people know that it's finished. Now, you can bring in any MP3 or WAV files into Audacity and add them to your project. Uh, and sometimes it's hard to find the perfect piece of music. So uh, if you uh, go to the main UEN site, I can show you a um, tool that UEN, or I guess I should say the legislature, pays for um, that is designed or it's a product just to help you find the perfect music clips. And they're copyright free and royalty free because they've been paid for. So it is located in, within the uh, Pioneer Library. It's called Sounds Abounds. So I'm here at UEN.org. And I'm going to go down to this link that says Pioneer Library and then go right into the Cave 12 section. Okay, now I'm the list of the general reference collection. If I look down that, I'll find Sounds Abound. I'm going to just select that. And here's the Sounds Abound website where we can find a whole large selection of music loops and clips and sound effects. So I'm just going to come over to the left side here and browse, and I'm going to browse by volume. You'll get a good idea of all the different kinds of music that's here, or types of sound actually. And I think I just want a little folk music, just a little short clip. Now a lot of these clips are um, divided up into lengths. So you can see this is the same, it's called folk intros, outros. Um, but this music, it's the same piece of music, a 15 second piece and so on. And if I just want to listen to it, I can click the little play button and that allows me to hear it. Okay, that's going to work just fine. And so I've decided I want to copy of that. The button right next to it is the download button. So if I just select that, then Windows says, what do you want to do with this? So I want to save it click OK and I've just saved it and there um, it's already downloaded so I have that 15 second piece alright so back to Audacity so what I'd like to do is bring that piece here into Audacity so I look around and I'm looking for how do I get that music into my Audacity project well I can always go to the file menu down to import and I want to import audio and now I just need to browse for it and find that mp3 file. And I went right to my downloads um, folder. And if you don't know where that is, just click your user um, and there will be a download folder there. And depending on how your computer is set up, that download may automatically go to the desktop or it will go to a download folder. So I can see it's right here, this kickback.mp3. So I just select that file and choose open. Okay, it comes in. Now it looks a lot different than my recording. It's a lot louder. This waveform is much more full and it has two tracks. Now that just means it's stereo. So you can leave it that way if you want. Um, but in this case it's unnecessary because I can see that those two pieces are the same. And my podcast isn't going to be stereo. It's going to be mono which just means it's going to come out the same out of both um, speakers or out of both earphones. So uh, let's just fix this so that it doesn't have to be um, stereo. That's just going to make the file larger. So I'm going to come up to this menu in on this track, open it up, and go down near the bottom and say split stereo track. Now it doesn't look like much happened, but in fact, instead of two track, instead of one stereo track, it's now two separate tracks: a left channel here on top and a right channel. So I only need one of these, so I'm just going to delete that one. And this is still the left channel, so if I were to leave it this way, it would only come out the left ear. So I am going to open that up and tell this track to be mono, which just means come out of both ears 
um, exactly the same. Now this is a 15 second piece um, and I want to use this just in between each of these. So I'm just going to slide this down a bit. I think I'd like, I don't know, about eight seconds of introduction, introduction music um, to fill this space. So you can see I can slide these around and I'm just looking at the timeline right about on the top here. Alright, so this music now, um, I need to adjust the volume for this little intro music. Alright, it's coming in really loud. So all I need to do is go pick up the volume adjustment tool, which is better known as the envelope tool. And that tool is going to help me adjust the volume of this track and help me create my own fade in and my own fade out. So I'm going to select that tool. And when I do that, you notice how the tracks change. You get a little different look. I'll show you again. I'm going to go back and pick my regular selection tool up and then select the envelope tool again. All right, so now I'm going to click once here at the front of this and I'll zoom in a little bit so it's a little easier to see. Okay, so I'm going to click here once at the front and it puts on a little handle and I can just click and drag down to make this whole piece a little softer. Okay, I'll do that again. So I pick up the envelope tool and when you can see as I bring it down it's a tool that has two triangles. So what I'm trying to select is inside of those two triangles. I can even do it back here. So I'm just going to click and start dragging and that adjusts everything at the same time. Okay, so that gets me started. Now I'd like to create uh, some fading. So I'd like it to fade in and then start fading out here when I start talking. So I need some extra handles for that. So let's do the fade out at the end first. So I'm going to put a handle in where I want this music to start fading. So right about here I want it to start fading. So I just click you can see it put some handles in. And once those are in I can come grab the handles at the end and click on those handles and just drag carefully down and you can see the curve that's forming that's actually the volume curve. So this is fading out and by the time it gets to here it'll be all the way silent. And If I need it to fade out faster or sooner I can drag that closed. If I want it to fade out over a longer period of time I can grab this handle and pull it back so the fade starts earlier or the whole volume is lower. Okay, So I've got that fade in. Of course I'd be listening to this now to make sure that the fade faded out soon enough so that you could hear my speaking. Okay. And I also might, because I don't want it to be so abrupt here at the first, I might put a little fade in at the first here. So it kind of takes two handles. One handle um, just by clicking where I want the volume to be up and then a handle where I want the fade to start. So I'm going to come out here right at the front, click and drag down and now I've got a quick fade right at the front. Alright, so that's the piece that's going to go um, on the front. And I can go back to the start and listen to that all the way through. Okay, sounds good. Um, now, let me just zoom back out. I would kind of like this little piece of music in between each spot and on the end. So, um, if I want to do this quick, I can just select that clip. So you can see I got my selection tool, came down just dragged across it and I'm going to copy it. So edit, copy, and then come down here a little ways where I want it to end up and do edit, paste. And then I would just slide this into place and get my envelope tool and probably adjust this a little bit so that fade happened a little um, over a little longer period of time. Can even pull this one back a little bit. So I've got this little this little volume piece now, or a little music piece that's going to be a little transition in between here. And you can see that little space in there is just five seconds or so. Um, and I want to do that again. So pick up my selection tool, highlight what I want to, to copy, copy that, come down to our, where I want it to end up, paste. I need to might need to adjust these clips a little bit. So I'm going to pick up the move tool slide things along, slide this back a little bit. Okay, and at the very end I might want to paste it again. Let me just uh, select it here again, just right to there. 
copy that and paste it on the end. It's sort of nice to have a little music at the end to let people know that your podcast is over. Now this little clip that I'm using here could be a little um, shorter here at the end. So if I, I, I could have it fade out more or I could um, cut it and delete part of it if I didn't want it to be so long, but I think it's okay. So my total podcast is about a minute 20, and at the end here it's just a little bit of music and it fades out. That kind of signals that I'm all finished. So I'd go back now and um, I'd want to listen to the entire thing all the way through to make sure that my volumes weren't too loud. <laughs> 